Hey, what is up guys? This is Tone here, or Max, and this is a video on operating without fear. So here's a little note I took on my phone. I said, video about operating without fear. So it's about how living without fear of judgment or other things or not being good enough can allow you to do things others can't. So pretty much the main idea that brought me to this video was me sitting in class and this has happened a ton of times where I realize because I'm not afraid to raise my hand and ask a stupid question I've been able to learn so much more and this is going back all the way to when I was like 12 years old I was never afraid to ask a stupid question because I knew there are other kids in the class that had the same question too but they were too afraid and because of that I've been able to like learn a lot more and a lot of the times like a teacher will be like great question and I'm like what that was a great question it's like I thought that was like an obvious dumb question I was gonna I felt stupid for having to ask that question and then a lot of times they'll say oh great question it's like huh that's weird but see and that crosses over so much into other parts of life too but if I had been operating with the fear of not being of being looked at as dumb of like Oh, I should already know that I should have already read my entire textbook I shouldn't have to ask this question or I'm too afraid I'll wait until someone else asks the question because I don't want to be the kid that I don't know a teacher makes fun of or something because some teachers are bad bad teachers and so pretty much it's kind of about okay and then there's another part of this too so I walked into the bookstore at my school and I said I had this idea, I was like, well, we're designing t-shirts in class, why can't we design a t-shirt for the bookstore to sell in as merch for the school? So I thought about that, and I just walked in the bookstore, and as I was buying my coffee, I said, hey, do you know who supplies the t-shirts, who chooses what goes on the shelf? And she said, yeah, he's actually right here, pretty much, that's what the person said to me. And I was like, no way. And the guy literally like stepped over like 10 seconds later. And I was talking to the guy that picks out what shirts go on the shelves. And I said to him, pretty much, I said, hey, I'm in the media section of the school. Would you be all right with students designing one or two t-shirts each year or each semester for um, your bookstore? And he said, yeah, that'd be cool. I'm open to that. Have your, have your um, professor send designs to me or have your professor email me. So it's like, if I had lived in fear of being like, one, my designs aren't good enough to be on a shirt. Two, why should I, a little student, talk to the bookstore manager? And then three, um, what was I thinking? Um, three, like it's not my place or whatever. Um, you can think of a million reasons why, or if I was just too afraid to ask, like, you know, who does this? Who chooses what shirt's going? Um, so it's like me operating without fear has allowed the next year of students to pretty much, I think it's like in the works, not 100%, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be able to actually see their design in the bookstore, be printed on the t-shirts and sold. That's the plan um, because he was talking to me about it, my professor. So because I operated without fear, I was one, able to learn more. And this goes into so much more life. But, and two, I was able to provide an opportunity for future students. Not me personally, but just throw the idea out there. And this is just like operating without fear of looking dumb or being wrong is so dang powerful. He is like, it's so weird. It feels like a superpower sometimes. And like fear of being judged. Like, God, I have so many fun moments in class where I just like say random stuff or like with friends too where you just like say random stuff and I remember I used to be kind of fearful of what I'd say and I still am sometimes in the right group but it's like I'd be so fearful just to say something odd or say something like oh they'll think I'm weird if I say that or I don't want to bring up this musician or this whatever because it's not the popular one it's like living without that it's you'll figure out how much more fun life can be because one a lot of kids are too afraid to like even make a joke in class or say something silly or like make themselves look silly because they want to be all perfect and bulletproof like the one video I have 
but it's life is life can be so much more fun when you operate without fear and then you have a superpower above people too because everyone else around you is operating in fear they're like I don't want to look stupid everyone around you just think about it it's everyone around is like I don't want to look stupid I want to look like I'm right I want to look like I know what I'm doing I want to I want to be perfect and then it's like here you come in you're not worried about looking perfect and you could be perfect but you're not worried about it and so pretty much you're able to easily walk into these conversations walk into these situations and have no fear with you so without fear you can have more conversations like that too and just have a better time in general so trying to operate without fear of judgment is so dang cool and it's just fun like the more I do it the more fun it is it's wild I highly recommend it um I don't know I can't I don't know what to say it's just perfect it's great that's all I got